Hey, how's it going? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get started with React A Picker. A basic setup by the end of this will have something like this made, and it's going to be a direct follow through the documentation, but in a video format. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have a basic folder right here made, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a React app. So I'll do npx create dash React dash app, and I'll call it React A Picker Basic Setup. All right, now that it's done installing, I'm going to cd into the directory, and then I'm going to install two packages. The first one is going to be React Day Picker, and the other one is going to be their date library that they use for the actual picker. So I'll do npm install react day picker and then date fns. All right, so I've created my React app, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my app.js file right here, and I'm going to import the package that we just installed. So I'm going to first import day picker from React Day Picker. And I'm also going to import format from React oops, date FNS. There we go. Cool. So to render our actual calendar is pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my header content right here. And I'm going to replace it with our day picker component with a self-closing brace. Now this is going to take a couple of parameters. Uh, I'm going to give it mode is equal to single. Then after that I'll do selected is going to be equal to selected. We're going to create these variables soon so don't worry about that. And then on select we want to do set selected. And so the way this is going to work is we want to create a use state variable. So we'll do const selected and set selected is equal to use state with an empty parentheses block and what this is going to do is whenever we click on any date in the date picker it's going to store that value in our selected variable right here now we also want to display it somehow so what i'll do is i'm going to copy exactly how it's done in the documentation it's pretty simple and that is by creating a variable called footer which is going to be equal to let's pick a day and then if it's changed then it's going to say you picked a certain day pee pee. Sorry, that was funny. Um, and after that, I'm going to do give it a parameter called footer and then associate it to our footer variable right up here. So now if I save it and go into my React app, and you're going to see it's the ugliest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. And the reason for that is because we haven't applied our styling for our actual calendar. And the way that's going to work, I'm just going to add an import and it actually comes straight out of a React Day Picker. So I'll do React Day Picker slash dist, and then we're going to do style.css. And now it looks a little better. All right, so now that we've set up the basic calendar right here, we want to have a little bit of fun with it. We want to make it look a little bit nicer than this mess right here. I mean, it looks pretty good out of the box. Don't get me wrong. But uh, let's go ahead and fill out these empty dates right here. We want to make sure that those show at least. So all I'll do is show outside days and now we can see that those are covered in. Cool. Now let's say that we want to make sure our user sees a specific amount of calendars. Well thankfully there's a prop for that too. So what I'll do is I'm going to call number of months and I can do as many as I want really. I can, I can do as many as I want where I can explode the other person's processor in their computer if I wanted. So I can do like 420 calendars and it can, I can already tell that my computer is about to explode. But there's 420 calendars that go all the way down to March 2058. And I don't want to go any further because it's going to break and it's already breaking right now. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about styling. Styling is incredibly important for this calendar because if you don't have styling, we don't have nothing. So to start this all off, what I want to do is I'm going to modify the class names so it's easier for us to be able to target our CSS. So what I'll do is I'll call a prop called modifiers class names, and then I'm going to do selected to be called my selected, and then after that I'll do today to be called my today. And then right above everything, I'm going to create my CSS. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to create a variable called const CSS is equal to backticks. Now this backticks is where we're going to contain all of our CSS. And to make this all apply, I'm going to go ahead and do a style tag and then in curly braces give CSS like so. 
So the way that our CSS is going to first run, so let's go ahead and target my today, the class name. And then let's go ahead and give it a color of red. And so now we can see that our current day is now red. Now let's make it a little bit more interesting. I found this GIF. Now don't judge me. I found this GIF on the interwebs. Now we're epic cool, cool racers because we got fire in our calendar. Now let's go ahead and actually do something interesting for the days that we are going to select. Now that's going to be pretty similar to how we've selected my day today. So what I'll do is I'll call my selected and then I'll do not and then curly braces disabled. Disabled. And honestly, I just want to show you the CSS that I got for this. It is, it is, it is prime. It is good. It's, and you're going to be very proud. So I'm going to give it a font weight bold. I'm going to give it a border of current color, be blue. And then this is the real magic. You can already see the end here is a little weird, but now if I save it, and if I select a date, it's fantastic. I apologize for nothing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Bye-bye.